Leading hitter at 355. I was just going to say, I'm literally standing up. I'm on my toes. <laughs> Still 5'7". And Higgs quickly down. Expanding the zone. Did he offer? He did. Grubb strikes out the side to start for the Longhorns. Schusler batting 327. Chops this one into left field. Over the head of the third baseman, Amade. And a one out double. Outstanding base running for Kimball Schusler, his 12th two-bagger of the season. Upstairs at 83. This one served over to the hot corner. A nice play. Amade over to first and in time. In the dirt, and the Raging Cajuns have their first base runner. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw to second, is in time! To maybe see a pitch or two, try to get deep in the count just like the previous hitter. There's a charge to deep right field, and our first home run in the Bryan College Station Regional. Fourth of the season for Lee Amade, and it's 1-0 Raging Cajuns. You said for the season, Amadi acted like he had hit 30 already this season. The way he hit that ball, 420 feet, 107 off the bat. Check this replay one more time. He gets this slider that just kind of hangs up, and he demolishes this ball. Check him walk out of the batter's box as he knows he got it. Swatted, and I mean hammered. Right field and gone. Twelfth of the season, it is 2-0 Louisiana. I mean, we were talking about tracking calories, tracking steps, but somebody needs to go track that ball down. This man just hit it 111 exit velo over the stands in right. Against Texas A&M, and we are a long ways from home there. Ripped into left field, Schusler. Already with a double in the second. How about two for two with a couple of two baggers? His 13th of the season. With the batting average. A couple of good takes. Hit sharply. Stabbed by DeBarge at short. Sophomore catcher. Rips one to left field, and that one's going to go for a minute. Off the wall. One run is in. Porter Brown will be held at third. And a one-out run scoring double. Off the bat of the catcher, Ryland Galvan, is 14th of 2024, and here comes Texas. Nubbed right off the knob, over to second, and a close play, and a safe for Gasparino over at first. Ground ball, double play. Through the hole, left side for a base hit. One run is in. They'll wave the runner around from third, and Texas has a lead for the first time. Hitters counted three and one. Here comes the pitch outside. Bases are loaded. Brown. And the strikeout recorded. Powell is retired. Fourth, bottom of the fourth inning, just attacking the zone. Cal DeBarge attacking down the left field line. Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year. One pitch and the tying run in scoring position. 18th two-bagger of the season. Taylor. And, and Louisiana hitters can take advantage of that. Let's see. Chop to second. Could be two. There's the turn and the toss. And the twin killing. Kennedy to Flores, back to Thomas. And if I'm, if I'm allowed to here, X. As Ballou gets that one through into center field. His first hit of the game. If they can do so. Schusler, perfect bunt down the third baseline. Horns have him at first and second, nobody out. To where you can take your best swing, and here's another count. Brown aboard. Big time. Off the plate, give him an RBI with the walk. Payoff pitch, swung on and miss, and a big time strikeout for Christie. Stand still. Horns have him loaded. Over to short to Barge. 
unable to get the ball out of the glove. A run is in, what could have been two and a double play. Instead, a run scores and everything changes. He bats eight. Lined into right field. Another run is in, 6-2 Horns. Stop sign put up for Galvan, the catcher. It wasn't long, the barrel got in the zone quick and then he was through it. Flores puts a charge into that one. Deep left field and it's gone. His third grand slam of the season. My God, here comes Texas. And you can tell there's some energy over there. I mean, that ball was absolutely launched. 406 feet. Check it out again, just the hanging slider right down the middle, and you can't afford to miss those ones. Just a small leg kick and release the barrel. Give me the bat flip and tell your boys, let's go. Played out there along with his two teammates. This one towards the gap in right center. And that one will be caught! What a play in right field by Broussard. Like Superman taking off. Louisiana will not be an easy out. Line to no man's land. And four players converge on the Bermuda Triangle. Into right field. That'll get down for a hit. And here come the Raging Cajuns now. Bases loaded and just one away. Big moment for Connor Higgs. That's right between the shoulder blades. And that'll bring home a run. Bloop towards left center. It stays up long enough for Gasparino. And it's deep enough to bring home another run with a sack fly. Chop to first. Treating is Thomas, covering is Grubbs. Winner of this game gets Texas A&M in prime time tomorrow night. High and tight to Kimball Schusler. COVID back in 2020. Good take by Brown, low and away. And the 3-2 inside for ball four. Including 10 by Texas. Line into left center field. That'll get down for a hit. One run is in. Two runs will score. Gasparino drives in a pair, and it's 12 to 4, Texas. Just saying. Struck him out. Shot back to the pitcher. Mandino comes home. They'll get the out at home plate. Horns have him loaded again. Be fine with seeing Texas tomorrow night. And Let's roll the dice and see what happens. Awkward hop. And the out recorded as it clipped the runner. Torres draws a leadoff walk. Line drive, right center field. That'll score a run for the Raging Cajuns to make it 12 to five. Good base running by the catcher, Jose Torres. Pitch number 28 from Cade O'Hara. Sent back up the middle, a sliding stop by O'Dowd. And everybody's safe. So far in. Popped up foul territory. And with real estate available, Peyton Powell. It's like he's playing in a video game on the mound, can just move the ball all sides of the plate, but a good start. Luke Juhas, the pinch hitter. Send you to Corvallis. Oregon State in two lane as soon as we are done. At Olsen. Raging Cajuns down to their final out. Texas on the verge of winning its 36th game of the year. To second, O'Dow fields and fires and that'll do it. 12 to five, the final score. And the Longhorns battle back to face Texas A&M in the winner's bracket tomorrow night at 9 Eastern. And the matchup is set. Network to be determined, dare I suggest, it will not be hard to find between the Aggies and the Longhorns.
Thank you.